hi guys welcome to the crystal grid reading for the day i hope you are doing well let me just make this a little less bright so spirits and angels what are the messages here for the crystal grid for today what is coming in what is a part of the crystal grid and what are the messages for all signs all people justice okay equality fair situations the sword and the scales so the sword represents, you know, it might have to be by force, like a court order or something. The scales is, it needs to balance. And because this is a major arcana in the tarot, um, it's a key. So the key is that this, this is going to happen. This is showing up. Five of Wands is here. There's a competition or a conflict surrounding several people many individuals are there's an issue here the nine of water you're going to get your wish you're going to get what you've been hoping and wanting ace of coin a gift an opportunity a lump sum of money a contract is here Sword in the scales. Justice is being served. Yeah. I was feeling like this ace of coin is what's making you happy. Devil here in the past. Negative. Toxic, controlling, shadow energy, abuse, cruelty, restraints, restriction. It's Saturn. So the devil's major kana, the key is that there was a very significant energy that was negative. Um, it's about the shadow side of the self. It could also be that this person, because of the five of wands, they were a ringleader like they dealt they were the one that made other people not act appropriately as well so the key is that justice is coming in justice is about tarot measures energy um through spirit through me and i connect him with spirit and spirit is letting us know that justice is being served and it will have an emotional impact this is a genie it's supposed to be a genie with a genie hat and he's granting your wish he's sitting there he's um, granting a wish but it doesn't really matter what the card is it's about nine cups of water you're almost at that ten you're almost at the fulfillment but the nine is you're content this is enough for you um, chariot comes into the future, a major arcana key for um, determination and willpower, quick, fast momentum, acceleration, victories, but it wasn't easy. You had to keep your eyes forward. You had to keep your eyes on the prize. Okay, I got like five cards at once. Let's see, what do we have here for the energy of this read the lovers a healing a blessing uh, a choice around you is a king of wands aries leo sagittarius masculine action oriented in in astrology kings are yods they it's the energy of destiny Somebody who takes action, they make it happen. Um, entrepreneurs, any of those action-oriented energies. He's not the page delivering you a text message. He's the one that's going to make it happen. 
he'll be the one that shows up and puts something into motion. You're getting out of a situation that was unpleasant. Okay, wow, this is really crazy. You're wanting the hair bent. Um, something about an institution, moral order, ethics, schools, um, banks. Where there's policy and procedure to follow, there could be deadlines. There could be, uh, um, with the hair bent, there could be a certain set of reg regulations that have to be followed that can't be broken. The Hierophant is also beyond your control. The Hierophant is someone else who's going to do it. You're wanting the Hierophant. You're wanting an ethical, moral situation. We get the Emperor as the outcome. Power, authority, a decision that's made. And the Emperor here is a major arcana and a key for benevolent, good leadership, um, an authority, somebody who has things under control in a good way personal power um it's very resilient the emperor the emperor is someone who doesn't get pushed around they don't worry and fear and fret ten of swords on the bottom the ending of a stressful period that may have been a while here with the hangman where you felt like you were in limbo or surrendering not able to move a push a situation forward your energy here is lovers there's a blessing a healing Archangel Raphael coming down out of the clouds the key for this is it can be about a choice there's the tree of knowledge and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and the lovers represents choices and it looks like you're making a choice here to leave a situation behind you that the challenge energy was the devil and the five of wands this is competition or conflict or negativity a ringleader a negative person you're getting this ace of coin which represents anything tangible in the real world taurus capricorn or virgo an offering something that can develop into something more so what is this ace of pentacles wow two of wands it's very exciting and you have to make a choice what is this lovers okay there's something here sad there's something here that is um there's regret or remorse or <sighs> guilt so what is the emperor i mean you're ending up either very powerful or somebody is taking action and in a very good way to bring you what you're wanting to give you what you're wanting to get out of a negative situation five of wands says to me there's more than one person involved especially with the devil this is like um it could be many things it affects the way you feel with the emotions and then you feel like you want to go forward with this um emperor outcome what is the chariot chariot is major arcana all these majors the judgment <laughs> something that is destiny something that is supernatural raised up hangman on the bottom something about waiting for this being in limbo having to surrender to con give up control giving it over to the universe to make a decision okay so for this crystal grid the reason why it's a crystal grid is because it's um, energies and I'm raising this up to bring it into um, fruition. So the main energy I'm getting <coughs> uh, is the nine of water. It will affect the way you feel. You'll feel content and happy and it'll be like a wish that you're wanting. Um, I feel the justice, fairness, equality, balance, wrongs made right, um, something that is disorderly coming into order. 
The ace of coin is a gift. It's an opportunity. It's something tangible and real. It's not an idea. So it's something that you can feel. You can touch this. You can, if somebody gives this to you. We have the chariot. Fast forward, momentum, determination, willpower. You. This is also the will to succeed. You know you can do this. And the judgment, this is about divine timing. This is supernatural destiny the other energy i'm feeling is the lovers i'm feeling like there's some kind of blessing coming down because of choices that were made the main energy is this outcome i feel definitely emperor this is about power authority um re-establishing someone's self-esteem because with the devil and the five of wands to me it says like there was something very disruptive that was affecting multiple people. Um, and then it's this is um, rectifying. Rectifying the situation. Something is being healed. But it's not like a spiritual healing like the star card. This is real results. This is a blessing for sure. With the um, Archangel Gabriel coming down out of the sky blowing the trumpet into a situation and saying, wake up. Um, around you is a king of wands, a king of passion, a king of fire, a king, a king of creativity. Um, so I also have this amplifier crystal, this new one right here. This is a big one. Um, it has a lot of different rainbows in it. And um, it's a really great piece. Okay, so what's happening here? The crystals to magnify what is this happening in this situation. So I bring you all this peaceful. This is a transformation though. It might not be so peaceful. It affects you the way you feel in a good way. Um, let's see. The judgment. Something is being raised up, rectified, healed. Power is be being given back to you. Um, so this is the crystal grid reading for the day. I appreciate you all very much. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com. Thank you and take care.